In this video, we'll look at how to set up a points base rather than a percent base gradebook. Some instructors prefer to assign a course total in points rather than 100%. Within Moodle, there is an option to set up the gradebook to allow for a points based system in what's called natural aggregation. This is what we're going to discuss in this video. If you are completely new to the gradebook or you need a refresher on how to set up grade items, categories, and how to enter grades, I would suggest looking at the previous video in this series. Let's look at a gradebook setup scenario and how we can use natural aggregation to set it up. In my hypothetical course, I have two exams worth 200 points each, seven discussion forums that are worth 50 points each, a research paper with a first draft worth 250 points, and a final draft worth 450 points. The course total is 1,450 points, meaning that if a student got a perfect score on each assignment, their course total would be 1,450 points. To set this up within the Carroll Learning Center, you want to go to your course homepage, and you want to scroll down to the left-hand side and click on Gradebook Setup. From here, you need to check that the aggregation strategy is set to natural. You'll see that when you click on Gradebook Setup, there's the name of the course listed here. To the right, there's a button that says Edit, and I'm gonna click on Edit Settings. And I'm just going to check that the gradebook aggregation is set to natural. In the last video, I showed you how to set up a gradebook with weighted mean of grades. But in this video, we're just going to stick with the default, which is natural. Now I'm going to click Save Changes, and I can get started setting up grade items. As you might recall from the last video, you have what are called activity-based grade items, such as tests and assignments that when you create them from the course homepage, it adds a gradebook column automatically to your gradebook. There's also manual grade items, in which you manually have to create a column in the gradebook and enter the grade. In this course, we have two exams. Being activity-based grade items, I have to go to the course homepage and then add them. I'm gonna click Turn Editing On in the top right-hand corner. And then I'm gonna click Add an Activity or Resource. Now I'll select Quiz, Click Add, I'm going to give it a name, and then scroll down and click Save and Display. From here, I'm going to click Edit Quiz, and I can change the maximum grade to 200. Make sure that you save your changes. Now, if I go back to the gradebook, I'm going to go to the course homepage and then click Gradebook Setup again. I'll see that the exam has been added and its max grade is set to 200 points. Now, I'm going to do the same for exam two. You'll notice that within natural aggregation, as you add grade items, it automatically adds to the course total. So when I added the second exam, it went from 200 to 400. Since discussion forum points are a manual item, I'll actually have to create manual items. To do so, I'm going to click on Add Grade Item. And I'm going to give each one a name. Discussion forums, unlike test or assignments, are manual grade items. To create a column in the gradebook, I need to click on Add a Grade Item from within the gradebook setup, and then I'll create a column for each discussion forum. I'm going to add a title, Discussion Forum 1. Under Show More, I'm going to make sure that the maximum grade is set to 50 points, and I'm going to click on Save Changes. Now I'm going to do this for six more discussion forums. Now I have all the discussion forums set up. The next step is to add the first and final draft of the research paper. Since these are activity-based grade items, I'm going to again go back to the course homepage and I'm going to click Add an Activity or Resource and I'm going to select Assignment and click Add. I'm going to call this Research Paper First Draft and then click on Expand All in the top right hand corner. Make sure that the maximum grade is set to 250 points and then click on Save and Return to Course. I'm going to do the same thing for the final draft of the research paper but instead make sure that the max grade is set to 450 points. Now that I have the grade categories set up as I want them to, I'm going to go to Gradebook Setup and I can verify here that all of the items have been entered and I've selected the appropriate maximum grade and you'll see that the course total is listed at the bottom. 
As we discussed in the first video, when it comes time to grade manual grade items like the discussion forum post, you want to go from gradebook setup to grader report, and then you can enter grades by clicking on the pencil icon beside the item. To grade activity-based grade items such as the exams or the research paper, you want to go to the course homepage, click on the activity, and then click grade. Thanks for watching the video. I hope that by watching the videos in this series, you can successfully set up a gradebook. I will also include links in the description of this video of Moodle's official documentation and a screenshot of the gradebook I just set up so that you can replicate it if needed. Again, thanks for watching.